You can sacrifice weaker champions to gain XP and level up quickly. Leveling up increases a champion's stats, making their skills even stronger. The ugly truth of the Dark Elves was now known. Preying on the desperation of the refugees, they had offered two paths. The rich man's path, offering safe passage to Felwyn's gate, and the poor man's path, leading to the belly of the dragon. The company blazed ahead to meet the Elven Queen of Aravia, an ancestral ally of Kirok. Known for her exceptional beauty, she was also a famed mistress of the old magic. So our heroes joined the torrent of hopeful exiles traveling eastward to the promise of sanctuary among the High Elves. Arriving at the snow-clad moor that sloped down to Felwyn's Gate, the company surveyed the grim scene before them. A multitude of half-starved refugees. Human folk, lizard men, elven, the many peoples of Teleria, all camped in the frozen mud outside the battlements of the Great Gate, now barred. Ogren and Skinwalker guards were denying them entry, telling them to clear off back to their homelands. The company agreed to force their way through and unbar the passage.
emerged victorious on the other side and opened wide the colossal gate to let through the multitude. Amid great acclaim, the company followed the road northward to the Palace of Arabia. But before leaving the gate, a wounded skinwalker seized hold of one of them and growled, See what you do, not good. We bar gate for reason. None can help them now. Elven lords and ladies welcomed the travelers with honey cake and mead. They told them they would be led to their new home on the other side of Tilshire. Wasting no time, the company hailed the elven guard to demand audience with the queen. They offered to give her news of her friend and ally, King Taba. The guard promptly returned with his chief, who said, perhaps too affably, The queen bids you welcome and friendship. She awaits you in her rooms. Our heroes advanced, nonetheless with caution, into the magnificent palatial hall. They reeled in horror at what they found. Having exchanged the grace of the Eldar for the dark power of the Shadow, the Queen had mutated into a malicious sorceress. It was she who had betrayed the King, had fomented the war between Kirok and Aravia. But to what end? What bargain had she struck? The company now realized that the Skinwalkers had barred Felwyn's gate for good reason. Donning their cloaks, the heroes fled the palace. They then joined the refugees traveling under the escort of the Sacred Order to uncover what dire fate Queen Eva had laid down for them. Stepping inside the township of Tilshire, the company realized they had entered a trap, for the gates were slammed shut and barred behind them. The people, visibly entranced, were herded by orcish guards to an inner court where Bad El Khazar, the dark necromancer, was lording his power with the scepter of Sirath. Sensing the presence of stronger spirits, the necromancer suddenly roared out, Guards, arrest them! They are the queen killers. 
Give no quarter should they resist. <laughs> 